everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. I am glad you're here with me in the bright new year of 2017. Um, what we're going to do right now is we are going to work on this month's challenge. Now, my monthly challenges are something that you can work on anytime during the month, um, but I would love it if you would share them with me. So, you know, if you decide to do a monthly challenge, share it on my Facebook page. I would love to see it. Uh, this month's challenge, we all have these wonderful coloring books, don't we? And I don't know about you. Some of these I didn't color, some a friend did, but... Um, you know, I, I, I was looking at them here not so long ago, and I'm like, okay, we have all these pretty colored things. Why aren't we using them? So what I did is I pulled out the ones that were colored in the coloring book, or mostly colored, and I'm going to make an art journal page around these coloring book pages. So I may be cutting out some flowers, um, maybe a little birdie. Look at these, aren't they cute? Um, let's see, kind of like the shapes, like the buttons, kind of like this line work. All right, let's, let's play around with this. So that's our challenge for this month. I am going to ask you to take a journal, any journal. This just happens to be a dilution journal that I'm still working in. Um, and I would love to have you go through your coloring book and find some pages that have been, you know, pretty well colored or some pieces you like off it or... Um, you know, just something that you find out of a coloring book you'd like to add to a journal page, and that's what we're going to do. So, the first thing I did is I pulled out this, um, this is a jelly print from quite a while back, and I just, I kind of like that as a background. So, what I'm going to do, I have some half glue, half water here, um, which is all fine and dandy. Let's see. I'm going to just grab my brush that I like to use for this. And I'm going to start off just by putting down some this page. Uh, this has not been gessoed. It's just the regular Dilusions book. And I know this is watered down, so I just know I'm going to use quite a bit of it. i going to take this off for now. And I'm just going to throw down a real quick, easy background. Look at that. Boom. And... I'm going to start right here in the middle, and as soon as I find my, there they are, little scraper here, just going to make sure that I get the whole page down. Now I'm probably going to have glue coming out the end here, a little bit, not much, not worried about that. So I just want to make sure that the page is down well. Oops, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. It's got some glue on it already, so we're just going to leave it there. So one of the things I'm focusing on in 2017 is using the stuff I have. I mean, we all have so many different art supplies and coloring books and journals and, and papers and painted papers and blah, 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 blah. the list could go on and on and on. So this year, I really want to concentrate on using what I have here in the studio, um, using it up. Uh, if I need to go buy more, God forbid, I'll have to buy more, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. So let me just take, I'm just going to take this X-Acto knife and try not to cut myself because I'm prone to doing that. And just cut around the edge of this paper. Come on. Come on. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just getting the big pot, big parts off. Yeah, the big pots off. I'm getting the big pots off. I think I was coming from Boston. That's how they talk in Boston. They park the car. They don't park their car. They park the car. What I used to work in is part numbers um, with inventory. <laughs> I had a boss out there. 
what's your pot number? I'm like, what? <laughs> my what? <laughs> my part number is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Now today, um, of course, this is unfortunately not the new year yet. Um, I'm doing this a little bit ahead of time, but I had to do a whole bunch of Christmas prep this morning. And I mean, I was in the kitchen from six o'clock on. So um, I'm just glad to get out of the kitchen for a little while. So I figured what the heck, we'll work on this. Oops, I'm singing, sorry if I break out into a song. I have music on, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Hopefully not, or YouTube will yell at me. All right. So there's this side. My chair is squeaky. Speaking of chairs, um, back when we were in the process of uh, making my new art studio, and yes, I know I promised you a video. Hopefully I will have it out to you before this airs. Um, we were in the studio in here and, and I was painting some shelving and uh, my husband was sitting in my my chair, the chair I usually used in my art studio when I was arting. And he was just sitting in the chair and all of a sudden we heard this crack and bang and down he went. The freaking back fell off the back of the chair. It just busted right off it. And I mean he was just sitting in it. Granted he's not a little guy but still. He was just sitting in the chair, and the back just snapped and cracked. Thank God it wasn't me that that happened to. With my back, I don't know what that would have done. I think I would have been in a world of hurt. So now, anyways, I have this old studio chair, and it's squeaky, and it's really not that comfortable, so I'll have to see if I can find a new chair sometime this year. All right, so we've got that down. I don't want to put my glue brush in the water yet. Look at that. Voila, instant background. Isn't that cool? Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, I am not going to bore you guys by um, sitting here cutting a lot of this stuff out. Um, but I am going to cut a bunch of this out. I am going to cover up a little bit of that background there because this will just go crazy on it if I don't. So... Let me do that, and then we'll be right back, and we'll get this page, and we'll get it put together, and see what we can make of it. All right? I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, so I just spent the last half hour or so cutting out just a bunch of goodies here um, out of the coloring book that I'm going to use. This is a tray of actual, um, these are golden paints. These are the colors that I have. And what I ended up doing, this was a while ago, I put them in this tray, I'd say a year ago at least, um, and they've stayed wet, they've stayed um, fantastic, I love them. So anyways, I just wanted to use a little bit of this color and a little bit of gesso. I think this is like the turquoise. Um, a little bit of gesso. And then what I want to do is I just want to kind of really lightly um, back down this page a little bit. So I'm just gonna just put a real light coat on here. Just to kind of tone it down just a little bit. Not a whole lot. We don't want it to go away. I just want it to come here. A little bit more. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, taking a little bit of that turquoise and then adding a little bit of white gesso to it. Um, it's going to make it, one, it's going to make it opaque, which is going to make um, the background on there right now go back a little bit. And um, it's also going to lighten it. So that's what I'm working on. You know what? That's not working, so we're going to do it this way. I just want it to be... There we go. That's better. down a little. Back it down. That's all. Just want to maybe go around the edges a little bit more. 
Yeah, I like that. Much better. All right. Ugh, come on there. So I just want to... i got my brush here still, but it's, it's literally paint, so I'm just going to get the rest of these edges. Okay, kind of like that. Now I still want it um, a little bit. I don't know if I want to use the word grungier. So we're gonna take. Let's take a little bit darker. I'm gonna take a darker blue. I want. Alright, let's take a little bit darker bluish green here. Let's go around the outside. Alright, I have to get comfortable, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I wanted. Just want the outside to be a little bit darker than the inside. And I'm just pulling this off with um, this scrubby brush. This is a one and a half angle shader and I'll tell you I love this brush. It's great for scrubbing. It's a scrubby brush I call it. It's funny I had uh, I don't know, two or three of these. Boy two of them were hard as a rock. <laughs> I had to sit them in some Murphy's oil soap for a while and get them limbered back up a little bit. Because so much paint I think gets up into here and it just makes it hard. So, it's funny, I don't want to be too bold on the dark color, but then again, I don't want to be too light on the dark color. So, I'm just trying to find that balance of what I'm looking for in between. All right, now I'm going to take, I want to go more into the blues. Uh, nope, none of that blue left. So, let's use up some of this blue here. And right now, really, the only thing I'm doing is just adding layers of paint, adding layers of um, like a texture to it, maybe. Just different layers. So it doesn't all look the same color or, you know. Yeah, almost kind of like a wispy, windy feel. That makes sense. All right, now I want some more white, so I'm going to go back in with the gesso. I do have other white paints, however, I normally just use gesso. I don't know why, I just do. All right, let's just go back in with some white. So it's not white enough. Okay, let's take another brush. This is why I go through my so many brushes. <laughs> when I'm painting it seems like I go through so many brushes but just because I do, I do, I do it's funny, I go in and darken it and then go back in and lighten it and then go back in and darken it and then go back in and lighten it hope you guys when you see this video I hope you guys all had a beautiful Christmas um, I know it's hard some people don't have the family members or you know they may be going through a difficult time and and that's hard it's really hard to deal around the holidays so you know if you had that I, I hope you made it through it and um, you know look towards a new year Life is good, even if we have to just try to find the smallest little thing to say, 
you know, yeah, life is good. I'm breathing this morning, you know. I'm still working on getting over this pneumonia. It has not been fun, let me tell you. My lungs don't want to breathe. They don't want air in them. All right, I want to dry this up real quick, and then I'm going to come back in with some stencils, and we'll be right back. Okay, here's a, just an artist blue that I'm going to use for the um, stencil. And I really like this stencil. I thought this stencil was kind of cool, so I think that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to take a sponge and just try to lightly and hopefully randomly. There we go. So, so anyways, as I was saying, I really hope everybody had a beautiful holiday. And, you know, if you had a wish list, you got for what was on your wish list. And just enjoyed the time with your family and friends. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Um, I'm going to use the same stencil. No, I'm not. Just decided I wasn't. Uh, let's see what else. Sorry, I got these out, so let's see what we've got. Mm, yeah, let's use this one. I'm going to use the circles. And what I'm going to do with the circles, I'm hoping to do them like a white. Yeah, I've got white right here. Yeah, perfect. It's got a little bit of the blue on it, but that's okay. Just kind of like that. Good. Good. All right, now, what my thoughts are for this is I'm going to dry this real quick. Let me just shoot it real quick. good now I got this this is a piece of painted paper that I found down in my stash and I really wanted to use some of this so I'm going to get out because this is a heavier paper I am going to get out my heavier gel instead of using the Elmer's um, just get out a heavier gel Just because this is heavier and I really want this paper to stay down. Okay. Just gonna try to maybe make like a little landscape type thing here. Why not? We can, right? We can do whatever we want. It's our page. Okay. okay. I like this because it actually has the circles in it, and that um, I didn't. I don't think I had that stencil then, so that probably came off. Uh, oh like one of the mats that you put in a sink or something like that because I'm pretty sure I didn't have that stencil at that point. I don't want that to be straight there. Let's put you... There we go. Just having fun playing. So we're going to use our coloring book pages. Why not? Yeah, I can't see. Why Why hold on to them? I'm sure I want this one over here. Um, that just, to me, makes no sense. Why are we going to hold them? What are we holding them for? Make good uh, bookshelves? Well, that's a good idea, but I'd rather use them in a journal. I think it'd be more fun. So that's what we're doing. I think this is the last piece of this. Yep. Okay, this I need to dry up really well. 
Just throw this one down here. Doo -doo. Plan I'm using some more just because I wanted to. There we go. For some reason I'm putting uniform and I don't want it to be uniform. Come on, Cindy, don't do that. Let's do this. There we go. Put you down here. Okay. We have another piece here. <laughs> I just keep adding. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it here. All right, that works. Okay, it's all down. Now let's just dry this up real quick. I'm just gonna kind of scrape it, make sure it's all down flat. Okay, let's dry it up, and then we're going to start putting on our pieces from the coloring book and um, see if we can make this into a page. I'll be back. All right, so I've got it pretty well dry, so let's go ahead and get this page going here. Um, again, we've got our coloring book pieces. I've cut a couple here, so what I'm going to do, we're just going to start sticking stuff down. Not sure what I'm doing, not sure where I'm going yet, but... Eh, we'll just put stuff down. Let's see what happens. So, I'm not going to use this half glue. I want to use actual regular glue. There is my glue glue. There it is. We're just going to use regular Elmer's to do this. Ugh. And of course, you know, i got to find another brush. But that's alright. We'll get it. Come on. Oh my god, I hate it when they take so long to come out. Well, I want glue, I just want glue. Right then and there, I want glue. But. Okay, so it's just kind of like a little sun that was part of this um, middle piece here that I colored. Now, some of these, I'm, I'm going to be kind of leery on putting the glue on them because I'm not sure what, what kind of pens I used in these. I don't know if these are... Uh, water-based pens. I don't know if they're alcohol ink pens. I have no idea. So I'm just going to be kind of easy putting stuff down here. And I want more glue. Okay. Let's see. Let's take this one. That looks like a good spot, doesn't it? And we'll take this one and we'll put this one right here. Where it's at. That sounds good to me. Oops. Need more glue. Okay. Alright, so now let's see what I've got cut out here. I've got some flowers. I got some birds. Alright, we're gonna put this little birdie. He is gonna sit right here. We'll have to draw some legs on him. He's got a little heart coming out of his mouth. We'll have to draw legs. What else we got? <laughs> this guy's... I'm not sure what we're going to do with him. Let's see. There's another birdie. Hmm. I should move that down a little bit. I wonder if I can. Yep. Ha ha ha. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I got glue. I got all kinds of glue. <laughs> Let's put this down here. Because I want to put this little birdie on him. And again, we got to put some legs on him, which we will. Now, these little things were also on there, and I thought they were really cool. So I'm thinking this guy's got to have some really cool featheridge on his tail. Doesn't he? Yeah. Isn't he cool? What's this guy? This one's yellow. No. Let's make this one the blue and the green. Why not? These are pretty, pretty birdies. Okay. 
birdies. All right, what else have we got here? Got some flowers. Let's throw these down somewhere. Right here looks good for that flower. Let's see. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Hmm. Let's try something else. That'll work. Put some flower down. What else we have? This is just going to be right here, a little flower. Why not? They can have pretty tails and pretty flowers. Why not? I'm going to put this flower right here. Okay, we're going to stick a little bit more of this out here. Just to kind of cover up that. What else do we have? A lot of these round buttons. Let's see this guy. Um, let's put it right here. Why not? Alright, let's take this. Just using, using pieces and just making it look, you know, interesting. Why not? Um, let's, uh, put that over there by the sun now. Put you down here. Why not? Whoops. Oh, no, no, I even, oh, my goodness. Now I really got glue. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know if you guys can see this. It might be off camera. Yeah, you can see it right here. I have a pile of Elmer's glue like no other. I don't want to glue. All right, let's see what else we've got. Let's take this and put it right here. That works. Oh, here's a leaf. Why not stick a leaf right in here? Um, I still want to do something with this guy. You know what? He's just going to be coming off the page here, or coming on one or the other. Let's make him walking off the page. Bye, birdie. He's so cute. And this will be his tail. Uh, let's see how I can do it. Just like that. And then I'll just cut it off. Alright, we have three more buttons here. Oh, here's a little heart. Let's stick this little heart right here on this guy's chest. Alright, what else did I cut out? Here's another little tiny leaf. There we go. Three more of these. And I don't think I want to put any more on here. I'm going to cut this. All right. Let's take this. I need to dry it really, really, really well so I can write on it. And then once I dry it, we'll go ahead and we'll get some um, detail put in here. We're going to give our little birdies here some legs. And we're going to doodle some. But it really has to dry. So I'm going to get this dry, and then we will be back to finish it up. Thanks. All right, so this is pretty well dry. It's actually, it's very dry because it's after the holidays. And uh, the noise you hear in the background is my husband. He's in the process of uh, working on, now that he's got my studio built, and I promise, yes, you will get a tour very soon. Um, <coughs> pardon me. He's working on uh, bringing my laundry room upstairs from down in the basement. So that's what's next. Let me tell you, he's always on the go. Always. Just gonna get some shadow around these little guys here. I love these little birds. They're so cute. So um, I hope everybody had a beautiful holiday. We had a great time. Um, we actually had our Christmas on Saturday with my family, my, my son, his family. And then Sunday we went down to my parents and had a nice Christmas dinner. It was very nice. I had a good time. I'm going to find my rag. Hang on. Here it is. But yes, I promise you guys, you will get a studio tour. Um, in fact, I'm going to try to record that a little bit later on today. So... 
it will be fun. Um, there's still some things I haven't gotten put away yet, but as you guys know how a studio is, it's always, um, you know, there's always organizing to do, and it's never done. So, you know, I've got it right now to the best of where I want it. Um, and like I said, as I work in the studio, more and more will, uh, more and more organization will happen, so... It's funny because I don't really want to do a whole lot to these. I love these birds the way they are. I love the background, how it turned out. It's got to be glued down right there. Whoops. I'm going to write on you, birdie. That's okay. Even though I wrote on them, watch. See? Don't even know it. Now the compressor's going. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I, I, I'm hoping you can't, but I have a feeling you can. I tried to get him to work on other things, and, you know, he's got a... He has goals in mind, so... Okay. I'll let him do his thing. Alright, I'm going to find some words to put on here. I'm not quite sure what I want to put on here yet, but... Let me see what I can find. We're going to find some words. I'll be right back. Alright, so I spent some time going through my words. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, I found this saying, and I, you know, I really like it. It's, until you spread your wings, you have no idea how far you'll fly. So what I did is I took it and put it through my Xyron, which is my little sticker maker. And then what I'm going to do is just cut it so here's one let's see where we're gonna put this get rid of some of the extra white come on off there until you spread your wings how true is this? It's very true. Still having a really hard time um, breathing. This pneumonia has not left <laughs> the way I thought it should. Um, I'm still feeling really, really tired, but. Um, I'm having a really hard time breathing. But if it doesn't straighten up here over the next few days or so, I'll go back to the doctors. Actually, I think I go see him on Wednesday anyways for something else. So, um, you know, I'll say something to him then. Because it's just, it's rough. Alright, so... i take this off. A little bit of the white off. And then we'll take this. Do, do, do. I am so, so happy the holiday stuff is over. You have no idea. Um, <coughs> it's not that, you know, I'm a, a Grinch or anything. It, it was fun, but it just seems like it's such a... <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, a big hype. <clears throat> and then it's just over, which I'm fine. I'm totally fine with that. Alright. So, what we've done today is we have done January of 2017's uh, monthly challenge. And your challenge is to use um, images out of your coloring books. I, you can use backgrounds, you could use a couple flowers, you could use whatever you'd like out of your coloring book. Because I can't see um, any reason just to color these pages and leave them sit in a book, so why not use them? So here we are. Again, this is January's challenge. I used, um, all of these images came from a couple um, coloring book pages here. And uh, I still have 
other pieces that I cut out, which I'll eventually use, but yeah, you know, why not use it? This, this was a really cool page. It had a lot of, oops, not that one, had a lot of funky birds on it, and I just had fun playing with it, and there's still a lot more that could be taken off here, so I definitely will put those into my bits and pieces. Uh, one more thing I do want to do, if I can find the right drawer, is, I want this to be darkened. I like my edges darkened. To me, it, I don't know, it just gives it more of a completed look, I think, than just that blue going off the page. Just got to blue that corner down a little bit. There. I like it. Alright, so I hope you guys join me and definitely share your creations on my Facebook page. Um, I would love to see what you create. And uh, let's get 2017 started off by using what we have, which are images from our coloring book. Alright, have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!